Momenteel sta ik bij de Rijlinggroep in Duitsland. Ik sta naast Malta. Malta, thank you for inviting me here. Yeah, thank you for, uh, for visiting us. We are in yeah. a very large uh, manufacturing and uh, behind us there's a whole lot of uh, shredded modules. Yeah, right. And uh, when the modules arrive here, uh, you do a um, kind of uh, inspection. Uh, yeah, it depends where the modules comes from, um, but then if, if the modules are visually in a good condition, then we are able to, to test them with a professional testing team. So we have two testing units where we can um, have a look, have a closer look on the module, and then we are able to put the module maybe on the second life mark or to recycle the modules at the end. Yeah. And can you tell me something about how the solar panels are taken apart? Yeah, so for modules that are not reusable, we decided to use a, a mechanical recycling process. So we are able to process a really large amount of panels, uh, which we are expecting in the, in the future. So um, then we, we shredder, we kind of shredder the whole module. And after that, we, uh, we, are, so we separate all the impurities or all the different uh, kinds of materials that are, um, the model consists of. Uh, and then we, we, are, we are able to get back high quality um, materials at the end of the recycling process. So after the modules are shredded, uh, what are they uh, often used for? Um, yeah, so after the shreddering we have uh, different sorting techniques uh, to separate the, the um, materials. Uh, so, for example, we have a glass fraction at the end, a big glass fraction, we have an aluminum fraction, we have a cable fraction, we have a fraction where all the bus bars uh, belongs to. Uh, and all these materials um, can be reused again as, as second uh, raw materials. Um, so, they are substituting the, the raw materials in the new processes, in the new life cycles. Okay. And uh, there are all products like uh, uh, silicon? Silicon is, is one specific fraction um, that uh, can be reused um, for new wafers, for example, but it's um, a longer way to go for that because there is still a, a research going on where we can use, reuse the silicon. It depends on how much effort you want to invest in the um, recycling of the silicon. And it's, yeah, it's quite new and for this sector. Yeah. So Malta, can you tell me from which countries do you receive yeah. the solar panels? Yeah, so most of the modules um, that we are recycling uh, comes from, from the German market, uh, but we are also working together with companies from, from our neighbor uh, countries like the Netherlands as well, or for example the Czech Republic. Yeah, main market is, is Germany I would say, but also the neighbor countries as well. Yeah. And how many uh, factories do you have in yeah. Germany? Yeah, so uh, the whole group consists of, um, I think at the moment, 18 uh, locations. Um, most of them are in, in Germany, but also in, in Poland, um, in Netherlands in office as well, um, and uh, some locations uh, in Denmark and Sweden as well. So, what are your expectations in terms about recycling solar panels? Yeah, so uh, at the moment we, we recognize that the amount of panels that needs to be disposed of uh, is really increasing. So, um, we, we want to build a recycling line or maybe a few recycling lines to be able to, to recycle a large amount of panels in the future yeah. and to improve our quality to be able to, to substitute raw materials in the future and to use as much uh, recycled materials as possible. Thank you, Malta. Yeah, thank you too. It was very yeah. interesting to see this plant. Yeah, I hope you liked it. Yeah, thank you for all the information you've uh, given me. Yeah, and uh, I hope to uh, visit your location in uh, Münster when yeah. it's finished. We'd like to see you there. You're, yeah. you're welcome to, to visit us there if it's finished. Dit was het dan. Deel 3 van mijn onderzoek naar het recyclen van zonnepanelen. Met toch wel als hoogtepunt het bezoek aan de Rijlinggroep. Ik hoop dat Stichting Open en de Rijlinggroep in de toekomst samen kunnen werken. Zodat de zonnepanelen uit Nederland bij de Rijlinggroep gerecycled kunnen worden. 
Uh, het enige wat nog een beetje in de weg staat is de certificering die Nederland vereist en Duitsland nog niet heeft. Maar ik hoop dat dat snel is opgelost. Ik ben door de Reiling Groep ook uitgenodigd om de nieuwe locatie in Münster te komen bekijken waar zij meerdere lijnen um, aan het fabriceren zijn. Zodat zij uh, grotere hoeveelheden zonnepanelen kunnen recyclen. En zodra dat zover is, neem ik jullie graag weer mee.